Hi everyone, my name is Jason Miller. I work at Zoomerang Online Surveys and Polls. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a quick, professional looking online survey for free. First off, you're going to go to zoomerang.com and sign up for one of our free basic accounts, which is what I'll be working in today. It's, uh, it only takes a second to sign up, and once you get in, once you do that, you will see this screen in front of you. Uh, we're going to start by simply clicking on Create Survey. The next step is to simply name your survey, and I'm going to do a survey about fruit, so I will uh, name this the World's Greatest Fruit Survey. And then we go down here and click Get Started. Now that we've named our survey, let's um, edit that a bit. Click on Edit, and then click in the box there, and let's add an image. Uh, it's always nice to have an image at the top of your survey. I click Choose File. I select from uh, my survey images that I've downloaded previously and we're going to click on the fresh fruit and we're going to add that and click save. Look at that, it looks lovely. Um, now next up let's add a question. We're going to start with a uh, simple multiple choice question. What is your favorite fruit? Uh, we'll add some selections here. Apple, orange, and the very under, underrated pear. Now, uh, you'll see when I'm typing here, you can also have the option to, you can add an image or video into um, your answer selection, or answer choices. You can also um, customize that by underlining, italicizing, or bolding. We're going to keep it simple, so I'm going to click Save. And there's our multiple choice question. Let's go ahead and add another question by clicking on Add a Question. This time we're going to select an open-ended question uh, and we'll ask why is that your favorite fruit and again you have the option to um, add an image or a video here if it was applicable but uh, we're just going to click on save and there you go there's your open-ended question let's go ahead and add another question and this time we're going to do um, a ranking type question so we'll say uh, rank your favorite fruits. And again, we will have our selections as apple, orange, and pear. Click on save and check this out. This is where it gets really cool. You can drag and drop, or your respondents can drag and drop their answers any way they want. And then you can click the up and down arrows to adjust accordingly you know, in case they change their mind there. Um, next up, let's add one final question, and this time, let's do a uh, name and address. This is great in case you want to follow up with your survey respondents, have a little bit of, uh, of their information. Um, so, let's type in, please tell us about yourself. Now, these fields are all customizable, and, um, you know, in this case, we probably don't need the company, so we can uncheck that. But uh, down here, I would like their email address, so we'll make sure to include that. Click on Save. Now we have our built-in form and our survey. Looks pretty good. Next up, let's choose a survey theme. How about that? We're going to click on the Themes, Colors, and Fonts button. And you can see here there's several visual themes you can choose. Uh, we have Standard. These are pretty clean and pretty simple. Uh, we have Professional, which is uh, a little bit more customizable, a little bit more um, upscale. We have Contemporary, which includes some fun themes, and then we have uh, Classic Themes. Let's click on Contemporary, and you can see we have some fun themes here. I'm going to I'm gonna choose the Blue Sky theme. You have some uh, options, again, to uh, customize, but we'll get into that later. Click Apply, and check it out. The world's greatest fruit survey is now floating in the clouds. Looks great. Next step is to activate your survey. So you simply click on Activate Survey, and there we go. Now here we have some options to, um, some basic options, hide your question numbers, disable browser back button, uh, allow respondents to take the survey more than once, include a progress bar. Uh, none of these really apply um, in this particular case. So we're going to go ahead and click on Activate Survey. Here you go. Once your survey is activated, we give you the option to, you can cut and paste this link here into your own email and send it out to your respondents, or 
you can use uh, the Zoomerang email system and by doing so it allows you to track your respondents and you can send follow-up email reminders to, to those respondents who have not yet uh, responded. We also give you the option to post to Facebook with one click or post to Twitter with one click. Uh, another option is to click the copy the code tab and then you have the code here and you can drop this survey and embed it into your uh, right into your website or your blog. It's really that simple and easy to to create a survey with, uh, with Zoomerang and um, stay tuned here as we'll have many more tutorials coming up and you can get more information and check us out at zoomerang.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.